So you got some new people here. We drove in a little family. Oh, where are you asking me at the uh, Blue Skies? Uh, trailer park home. I'm across the street, though. I'm, I'm over by uh, the Shell parking lot. In that section where the CC cameras don't catch us. I'm under the tree. Um, the big one. That uh, when we climb up in it, we sleep up there. And we can see uh, or we can smell in the morning when Yanni, the Greek guy, right, makes his dry tip. His... Uh, <laughs> He jokingly calls it Santa Maria tri-tip. Like there's a difference, Laura Miss Haxteen. No, I can't bring up that ex. That's right, I can't bring her up. But I did fix the wiring, yeah. With what? With duct tape. All the shelters have come out tonight. That's why we're going out with them. Get some vocal training. They just wanted to check if the family needed any help, but they're, uh, they're smartly doing. I was gonna lean here. It looks okay if you're leaning against your car, you know, your house. But uh, one of the family members has smartly uh, parked the vehicle right in front of the uh, the air machine. And they had it going for the longest time, as much as they could. Uh, and the cops were going by and not noticing, right? Just being like, oh, they're just fixing, putting air in. And now there's all this, the radiator broke. In the meantime, so there's all this liquid just pouring out of it now. It's green though. Let's go see what this car is. It's like a green Plymouth wagon from the from the seventies. Wow, that's badass. That's pretty cool. You can tell they're living in it. It's got it's got a tarp um, you know, on the back, right, to keep the uh, sun out and hopefully some heat in when you need it. But it's, you know, the space age. Space um, needle. No, space. <sighs> the stuff they give you when you get in a car accident, right? And you're just sitting there and they cover you and all this tinfoil. It's just tinfoil that's holding. There's no glass in the back, right? It's just holding the kids in, probably. And, and you know, some of perhaps the raccoons out. But it's, there's no glass, so it's holding it up. It's holding that car together, and it's doing a good job. With the duct tape, you can do everything. That's how I fixed my electric in this piece of crap Ford. Hmm. Dual carburetor bitch from, yeah, from the streets of Sus. Anyways. They got, um, they got gardening tools strapped on the top of the car. So they're gonna do fine here. They're gonna find work. And uh, so it looks like one of the kids, they got the, uh, he's got to be like 11 or so. He's got the same flannel as I do. So he's wearing the flannel, backwards baseball cap, right? This is like LA Rams or something, or Juicy, Puff Daddy Juicy. And he's professionally going to each trash can by the uh, vacuum. Vacuums and just grabbing the cans and bottles and pouring out the ones that have liquids in them. And can you hear that binaural? It's set the binaural switch. Uh, here, I know, we'll, we'll do our old trick. We'll throw something next to, oh, do we have a can? That would be perfect. What did I do? No, I'm locked in, but the lights are going, oh. I fixed it, that's why. Oh, I forgot. Oh, here's the can. No, but you just bought that. Come on, don't, don't. Oh, but this one, there we go. Let's 
got all this ashes in here that's all right okay this is helpful if you got another one that'd be great well we'll look for it it'll give us something to do all right we have a project tonight don't feel so lonely Hey bro, are these are these recyclable? Yep. Okay, here. Thank you. No problem, man. You too. Uh -uh. There you go. There's a deed that's for the miracle. It's gonna pass it on, people. That's for India. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention you, India. Number fifty-seven, and then um, underground. Underground Groundhog Paris Vlogs. You know who you are. That's that's your coordinates for today. Um, we just did a good deed. All right, I'm gonna see if this. Maybe we'll find something in here. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go hang out by the trash cans. You know I like doing that. I love to hang out by the trash cans. All right. UPS, right? There's another UPS. They've been coming around here. Okay, I gotta pretend I'm talking to my daughter. No, really. Dude, you gotta be serious. Hey, there's one over here. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. Okay, which daughter am I talking to? Is it per day or is it Xanti or is it Teo? Oh, Teo is, I didn't tell you guys. Yeah, he went to a Iggy Pop concert, and suddenly, yeah, now you have a sister. Yeah, it was in the bathroom or something. They did it. Oh, good. There's another rock star can, and these corporate coupons Antoine's been giving me. Uh, That's good. Let's get rid of this corporate Ugh. McDonald's. I'm not going back. I know this is like the fourth, fifth, maybe twelfth YouTube. Oh man, that's it's like a poodle, dude. Is that a beach? Yeah. <laughs> she's in. She's in camo. Huh? She's in camo. The the dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. Of course, always in camouflage. Yeah, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta be. In the COVID, you need camo. You can't even see him at nighttime unless he has that sweater on. Oh, it has the opposite effect. So because you, he's pure black. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good for survival. There's a cop. Yeah, they've been around. Is there something happening in the neighborhood? I don't know. I'm not from here. Oh. <laughs> they were visiting him. Is that... Yeah, is that, um, is your dog... He's is, turning it right. Okay, thanks. Uh, so he's probably coming right around the block or something. Oh, man. I don't know. Yeah, all right. They can leave me alone. Yeah, that would be nice if they left us alone. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, we gotta get... They keep moving this. In my own city, they're like pushing this around. It's really good. You should keep going. We're, uh, I'm running out of gas all the time. I can't do any more AAA. I can't do any more Allstate. All right. They can't. I'm going to clean my car. They can't kick me out until I've cleaned out my car. Right? Of all this McDonald's product. Ugh. Why did I do it? I feel sick that I did it. Why did I do it? Why do they do all that crap? Because now my headache is worse. I'm probably fatter. I called someone a fat waitress, pretending it was me. I think I uploaded something. I YouTube something saying that I was Dan Fonte and it was the fat waitress. He's never going to. He's going to be pissed off when he finds out can't do that that's the one thing he told me i can't do i can't blatantly steal his product 
Oh my God, did I really do that? I'm not gonna look. Can someone look for me? I need a, um, hmm. I need a, uh, I need a, uh, I need subscriber 17. I know, I'm asking you to wake up. I need you, hashtag. I need you the hashtag 52 and 50 through, 52 through four. 52 through four and then Uber. Get Dave the Uber slave to get into his no van life, life van, hashtag, and get the placards. Those are placards that I had set up. Did he not see the video? People, he's nobody watching or listening or touching or using logic in their brains. Is nobody going to do that? It's not helpful. Oh boy, it's not helpful. Oh, the marathon will, will not stop. How is she going on? Lozenges. Oh, say l'autre, the athlete vocal. The athlete vocal, can you get France on the phone? Can you get Germany? Can you get India? They're all sleeping. Well, then I'm not, I'm not gonna speak in French or, or do an accent anymore in English. And my German, you heard, it was all pretzel eat and the beer a drink and kego spiegel and flash and vice wine. That you can't do much with that. Even Iggy Pop can do better. He knows it. What can I do? Um, who can I call? I can finish the Shoni story. All right. So Shoni was. During the Holocaust, we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to do this carefully. I'm going to hide in this closet. I'm going to hide you here, Shawnee, until okay. You got to be really quiet while I tell them the story. So, officers. This man Shoni, what do you mean? Why are you making officer? Please let me finish. Let me express myself. Please do not make fun of my accent. I already told you guys, I do not like you making fun of my accent. That's all. Right? I asked you, give me these three things. That's all. Just three more words, or even three more letters in this story. But Shoni, so Shoni, there's an accent, people, over the O, and then there's several H's. It's not like Faf, where you don't pronounce one of the F's, the large one, but the uppercase, no, lowercase one, you do. So uppercase you don't pronounce, but the lowercases you do. It depends where the accent is, what direction. It's going, right? Do you like the direction that this accent is going, Bella? Well, I liked it, but why is Sony taking it away from uh, from me? Said Bella Lugosi. Oh. No, he said that to Reynolds. Yeah, Reynolds is like works for ASCAP, which works for Sasam. They all work for Hollywood. They all work for Big Tobacco. Oh, oh, here he goes again. Uh, he's going to do a, a conspiracy theory with the Nazis. Yeah. Listen, Hoover was a body remover, and he removed the dictator, Charlie Chaplin, just like that. Then he removed some Indian natives, just like that. 
And if you keep looking on the list of mistake making, Hoover is there just like the dam with his finger in it crying wolf right over and over again. And we're not liking it. And we're asking for a change. Somebody's got to change this or we have to change or maybe let's work together on it. But it's not happening fast enough. And now there's a COVID and people are dying, but not of the COVID. Meanwhile, an old technique that uh, Jack in the Box used to do, like killing people because they weren't doing things properly in the health department. This is all in Anthony Bourdain's, you know, naughty bits. No, that's something else. Dirty bits, ugly bits disgusting bits yeah he liked the disgusting bits he didn't mind but uh you don't put that on the menu with a picture of it right that's not what you want to do you'd rather do something like szechuan and and show a picture of a szechuan bowl but super bright in 4k lots of color lots of 3d yeah I'm getting so tired. I, I will finish this marathon. I will. I will just keep it going. It's not going to end anytime soon. But Shoni. So Shoni, that did end. Shoni was a little young violinist during the Holocaust. And he found himself in front of these SS soldiers that were just killing off the violinists. Like they'd gotten rid of all, you know, the tailors and they'd gotten rid of all the painters and then what else is left? The food? Ah, you're, ah, we don't care. We, you know, we like raw fish. We don't need your way. Well, we like raw fish too, but ah, no, they don't like marinated. They didn't care for the vodka. It kind of knocked them silly, right? They were used to some sort of Schlitz malt liquor or something. Anyways, Bex, Amsterdam, in the ports of Amsterdam, I drank so much and sang and played the cello without a bow and made some centimes, but then I had to get my bow rehaired, so that's where the money went, and then one sandwich. I think I ate one BLT. No, it was called an Americano. It's a, it's a BLT, but it's a Denny's. It's like a Denny's over your hammy water. Over the Sammy waters of Uncle Tom at Sambo's, enjoying your last coffee. Because you have shards of glass, you have an Armaniac. You have an Armaniac during the purge. And the purge is just COVID purging now, isn't it? Oh, is the conspiracy theorist back in, yes. Because it's become very dark and that sun can no longer be seen. And the fog has come out in this town that we call Santa Barbara. And uh, the police have come out and they want to purge us. Can you hear the machine? They just want to clean us. So they wanted to just, to, you know, finish some... All the crazy ones coming up. Her, luckily, her son, you know the one we gave the maps, he's at her daddy's and his daddy's. Do you think that kid, was, why were they dressing him in a dress at the, whenever the social services people were, were there? See, that is strange. Do you need to, mm. I know you had to be poor to be at this trailer home. Because you have to do um, a big thing to show that you, it's it's low budget housing. It's it's the county. I told you, it's owned by the cops. Same ones who hurt my hand, but it doesn't matter. I've already given it away. Um, Ripley Scott, believe it or not, fixed my hand using that Houdini effect. Um, that's in one of the movies I showed you. It's for debranding. It's all the things I got in trouble with of making fun of places like Jack in the Box and showing their products and how disgusting they were. Like showing the shell. Like everything in the bathrooms, they removed it from my memory bank, right? It's on a drive. And the crazy lady's coming back. She said some very 
interesting, poignant. She had some good points. And occasionally, she recites like a poem that sounds like my daddy, Danny, like one of his works, or his daddy, his grandpappy, Johnny, you know, the Fonty brothers, the Daltys, the Daltons. She sometimes will say something or sing one of my tunes from way back, from the 80s. You know, and I'm wondering, is is she, is there a radio station playing my products and I don't know about it? And she's uh, channeling it like I used to. Has that ever happened to you? You, 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 you go into the store and you, you know it's, it's gonna go dum 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 bum 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 like three minutes later. But when when you walk in, it was going. Jesus is just all right with me. It never happened to you. Oh, it happened to us once. It's on one of the videos, which when I made it for the French, I think, Franglais. It happens at the Syrian liquor store, remember? And I point out to the guy that everything's broken. The Pringles were broken. I pointed out to the Syrian guy. It, it didn't matter. But they're all the, the cans. And I was trying to explain to the French what a Pringles can. I was trying to explain to the French what a pring. I was trying to just tell them what American corporate fucking chips these are your chips in the game right they're all shaped really strangely i told them and we rolled some bugle yeah because it has free papers and the papers turned out to be zigzags and it turns out zigzags is french and my favorite is the orange j'aime bien zigzag orange beaucoup plus que le raw raw footage like mm. I'm telling them that I like zigzags. Man, I am going to lose so many subscribers now at this. Uh, you're, you're telling me this isn't good for the kids. Look, it's, this is mad. Mad has suddenly broken in. Mad is, is mothers against drunk drivers. I'm not drinking. No, I'm calling you guys uh, mothers against dead Dostoevskis. Yeah, you don't like my Dostoevsky. You're not nice to students. Why are you shining the light on me with your thing? Oh, I don't like your monitors. I don't like your... I don't like your sensors. I know where they are. There's one over there. There's one there. There's one. There's one over there, back there. Don't you hear it? Don't you see it? It's down there. Look, that's where the device is. You, you don't believe me. You don't believe me. Listen. Right? It's not working. Look. Oh, yes, that did work. Oh. Oh, I didn't feel that one. Hmm. Why didn't you tell me there's like a handle? That's where the electric is. What the? The seat was electric. It's never moved. No, I bought the car brand new. It's never moved. I'm, I'm talking about Ford product. Ford Focus ST 2018 hybrid. Battery will cost you $10,000. You can't do it. I need to stay parked just to save something in gas and the police keep telling me to leave. So when I went to this school music what was it called? It, was, it wasn't called the Music and Arts Conservatory of, S of Santa Barbara. It was in San Francisco. It was an old shyster of a man. Um, it's no longer there. Oh, it was the School of Recording Arts in San Francisco. Yes, in the 80s. Look it up. 86. Eighty-six, Yeah, because I was back in Europe in 87. Okay, so we're getting our dates today. 84, 
think I was in Canada. I'll, I'll, we'll figure that out. 85, I was in New York, Manhattan School of Music. 86, what was, well, the last year, we'll figure it out. In 87, I was back in France. What happened in 80? I'm blocked. That's what my doctor's been telling me. There's two ages here. We must figure out that. When I was 13, something happened. I'm blocked. And then something after 27, probably at 33, something happened to me. And now I'm 53, but everyone has been telling me that I'm 56. What's that mean? What are these numbers? Five, six, six before the five, 65 times five, five times five, 25, 255.6. Take it into centimeters for no good reason, pi r squared. Several times, right? Turn it into the, the, uh, the breaking bad, like the professor just messing with his students now that he's the kingpin, right? Now that he has 70 cell phones, like he's stolen them from every dealer that he works with. He can't, this professor, this doctor is not going to be keeping his tenure much longer when he's selling to, to, to the poor Russian immigrant who's just trying to clean the bathroom, right, during the COVID that's why the actor doesn't want to do any more Breaking Bad. That's why they said the series is dead. It's over. But there are episodes, people. I'm telling you the truth. You're going to have to trust me. There's episodes. Mm. Get online, millennials. Look up Breaking Bad, Netflix. There you go. Okay. Okay. You see? You'll, yeah, you'll have many binging things. Now watch something. They said, Netflix, that they have removed Louis C.K. from their roster. Okay, look it up. What did you find? Yeah, it's not good. Okay, now look up the one where he's, there's an episode, he's freezing these kids, these child Actors in the back. Yeah, he, just look up Louis C.K. masturbating to the Who, pretending to air drum in a pink, stupid ass Van de Boner um, 80s Cadillac uh, without the top, right? Freezing these kids because Louis doesn't know and the whole crew doesn't know. To the wranglers of the children who were supposed to be teaching them new math, moving the decimal, they're all just putting their digits in the wrong orifices like a cigar or Ray-Bans from a president trying to play the saxophone. Is that clear? America. When I said that, the clock in my car, Ford, that's just so up to date with all these dials, right? Well, I did like the analog. Thank you for the two analog. What's it say? One's for tuning. Yeah, I like that. One's for volume. Now, what I didn't like is that I found that I can run this car by my phone. And you guys don't want me to have the memory to just let me tune up my car like everyone else does, they can do it with the phone. Why aren't you letting me get in there? Meanwhile, the clock says 0011. That's impossible. It's not that time of... I'm not going to tell you. You guys will have to look through your... I know you wired my car, Sony. I know, because Shoney unwired it. That's right, he's still... Alive, The old man Shoney has sent me to come get you. And Dan Fonte is doing my scripting. He's writing for me. That's right. Okay. Now, the clock in my car says zero one. 
excuse me, for the binaural. We're selling field recordings. This is what I learned from the old shyster at the San Francisco School of the Recording Arts. All right. He took from a blind man, you know, I saw him. This blind man off the street walked into our classroom, started to, to play. It was so amazing. We were crying. We did not know who this man was. And this other guy who was running the school, this shyster fella, by the name of Ayatoka. Let's just say something like that. It, it rhymed with Ayatoka. It looked like Ayatoka. It was probably him. He jumps up, runs to the studio board, starts throwing microphones out there, running orders, just to record this man off the street playing his violin, throw, totally messing, you know. Luckily, the guy was blind, and he wasn't seeing this shyster man shove microphones all around him, you know, making it impossible for him to play. But he kept going. He didn't understand why he was being boxed in by ribbon microphones, right? All these RCA victors, it's huge. But he's playing away, this poor homeless um, gypsy Roma violinist. And Ayotoka records it now. He's putting the tape on. Wait, wait, he's saying he's putting on different tape. I want metal. I, I, I heard uh, this will be good uh, later for, for putting into cassette tape products and perhaps uh, uh, this uh, Kurt fella, his fecal matter, might end up on one of these realistic metal high bias tapes and I'll get a free battery with it for my flashlight. That was what this guy was thinking, right? So he records the poor old homeless man, and the homeless man's just happy to have someone listening because on the streets, mostly people were spitting on him or stealing money out of his case. You know, you put your case open when you're in the streets of San Francisco and you're on Haight and Ashbury. Do people still walk there? Yeah, we we used to score there. That's all I remember, and that's all I want to remember um big sir yes it's not the same as when kerak was there right he he said he that there were these tall trees and he was he was in a little fort up there making toast and coffee with this weird solar toaster he had invented it's all in his book big sir he's either kissing the sand and eating it and saying mother of canada He's got a thing for that. Oh, take me away. And then he starts writing in French and not putting um, periods and semicolons, right? His colon did not end well. Kerouac, you can see by his faces, they said the last thing he did was eat a can of sardines, America. He was always eating your corporate canned Campbell's products. He would get off of a train walk over the street in Santa Barbara, that's in one of them, or Camarillo Land that he would call Birdland off the 101, and he'd ride away, take a bus, you know, maybe a Greyhound, uh, on your way home, don't know where he's going to be again, but he winds up once again in this Santa Barbara or Oxnard, just now hopping another bus and then getting on one of those... uh, um, lists that he might thumb it. Then they, they would go and stick their thumbs up. Their digits in the air and the, their pinkies too sometimes. And they'd get these rides and they were called hitchhikers. Children, millennials. The hitchhikers. The hitcher. Check it out. There's a scene where the guy, he thinks he's gotten rid of this hitchhiker. And then uh, the hitchhiker is really pissed off and saying, dude, I'm going to get you that you kicked me out of your car. You were all scared of me in this late at night going through the desert. You you freaked out because I said to you, do you want to see something really scary? And you kicked me out of the car. It's that kind of uh, experience. You, you don't want to pick up these people anymore, these hitchers, these hitchhikers. Anyways, this hitch, hitchhiker, he he keeps showing up again and again every place. It's like Duel on the Highway. It's like Spielberg's high school Super 8 movie 
um, production. He with uh, Dennis Weaver. Yeah, do. Yeah, McLeod. Dennis Weaver was McLeod. I think they said that he was one of those kind, or was that Rock Hudson? He might have been too. There was nobody left to be the man. The the man, because the man doesn't know how to be an actress. And so how would they know how to be an actor? Because most actresses have become actors when they're good. Right? What is it to be a good actress nowadays? Well, you need a, a higher voice than I. I did learn that, right? That was a mistake the doctors did in... Oh, somebody cut in. That was Shoni. Shoni says, please tell the story. Finish this time. Okay, so this is the story of Shoni. We've turned the battery back on. We are now having the car running. I'm drinking my fifth rock star recovery. Not not good, Shoni says. Just I'm not budgeting very well. I spent half of David Boy's check. No, Donald Trump's check. I spent half of it in a day. I did not gamble it. I did not drink it. I did not partake in real crack. I just partook in that fake ass stuff that... It should be cheap, but I think they've been fooling me. Like, I haven't been asking for the receipt because I haven't been working. I haven't been working, so I haven't been asking for the receipts. But maybe I should because the last time I got fired from my bank, the Montecito Bank and Trust, I audited you naked, remember? Yeah. That was me. I was dancing. I could have danced. Oh, do you remember? The flippity flang ba boom bang. That's right. That's what I did without sock, right? Did he do Akita style? What? No way. It's too heavy. I got trouble enough just with Scorsese's foam. It's way too heavy. I don't want to use a gimbal. Oh, the Francais, c'est quoi un gimbal? Okay, I'm not going to do another French thing. Je vais plus faire des trucs français pour vous avant que vous me dire qu'est-ce que c'est un gimbal and asterisk. Pourquoi vous vous me pas dire oh, he's he's talking about asterisk. Yeah, they, they, I was going oh, the Romans, the Greeks I was saying uh, pas, pas celui-là de Cléon uh, don't lay the bon vin pas le vin de table I was saying things like hey, don't give them the uh, the plastic bottle wine that the, the fire um, makers do the fire makers are the guys in the street um, that blow fire next to your face when you're just trying to eat something from the menu right something tasty i love a good good french menu it starts out you got you got your little appetizer it's usually a pretty nice sized thing something yummy might be a rabbit or terrine a terrine of a rabbit or just pate of sorts or different things yummy things caviar done salmon fumé that's um lox oh yeah start out of there then you have your main dish right and that can be like beef bourguignon something that's been you know cooking for a week slowly so so slowly Mm, yum or it could be just something simple like um a souffle, a nice cheese souffle, but you got to know how to do it. Or a really nice omelet, right? As I just say, or maybe, um, I don't know, fish. There could be a, or a paella. You could do that, I perhaps. I'm sure you can find it, a falafel. Um, but uh, sauerkraut, yeah. Sauerkraut's hard to find. You'd have to go to Germany to get the good stuff, because here it's not good. 
All right. Well, now we're talking about German food. Well, then we'd start talking about Armenian food. Then the French would go, wait a minute, our Armenian pizza is delicious, and you've got to try... Don't you remember that Anthony Bourdain where he realized he could not make a pizza? Yeah. Anthony Bourdain learned he couldn't make a pizza in France, and the French guy was laughing because he couldn't either, but he knew that to be a pizza maker you have to be super special like a like a like a boulanger like like the bread maker like you'd have to go find the bread maker's wife when she's been unfaithful to him you got to you got to track her down you got to set things straight or you ain't getting any more bread